What were we even talking about? <laughs> Shitting on Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. Migraine City, population us. Yes. This is three episodes in a day. You guys probably don't know that, but Adam had the good sense to bring extra shirts and I didn't, so. This will be added to our Chips Off the, was it called Chips, chips off, off the Old, old Block? I don't think we've made that yet, this but is, that's gotta get made. Yeah, this is gonna be on our Chips Off the Old Block playlist. Today we're doing Larry the Cable Guy's Jalapeno Popper. Uh, so many thoughts. I would think that something like Larry the Cable Guy is a fad, and it's gonna eventually go out of style. He's at least a decade into this character. And, uh, and is doing well enough to warrant his own chip brand. Maybe he's not doing well, and that's why he put some chips out. Who knows? There is a, a, a note on the back of the bag oh here. It's got Larry up here at the uh, at the top, you little see. Note, little note from Larry. Little note from Larry. Larry Larry's note. Wimpy flavors are for sissies, it starts. These flavors will knock out your snack cravens like a cop kicking down a trailer door. Shoot, they are so good, I'd save yourself the trouble and grab a second, third, or fourth bag right now. I picked out these here flavors just for you. Now what in the world are you waiting for? Get her done. Hilarious. Each purchase of these chips support the Larry the Cable Guys Get Her Done Foundation. At least I can sleep okay at night knowing I paid for something that is going to a, what I assume is a good cause. Right. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to look that. How is that for a reach? How's that for a, a reaching for that silver lining? <laughs> With that said, uh, he seems to have nailed the Southern character. Um, uh, kind of your, your uh, I'm not going to do that. Take a whiff. Potato chips. Don't yeah, I don't smell any flavor at all. And that's been the trend with pretty much yeah. all the potato chips. And and I don't expect these to be super spicy either. He's talking a big game with the spicy. He says if if if, if you're a sissy, this might drive you away from them. So let's see how let's see how Larry the cable guy grades sissiness. First first sentence on the back where he addresses the consumer. Wimpy flavors are for sissies. Let's see. Nick, let's get her done. <laughs> of all the chips that we did that had jalapeno flavor, this without rival is the wimpiest flavor I completely of agree. jalapeno I've ever had in my entire I life. I don't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Talking a big game, Lear the Cable Guy, and you are not delivering currently. Maybe. I don't know, maybe no, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's settled. Maybe the dust is settled. A lot of. Yeah. A lot of, a lot yeah. of that. A lot I mean, of dark spots Larry, all over the place. Larry, uh. I believe Larry sprung for the. Uh, Look at this guy. Larry sprung for the cheapo chips. More like get her overdone. Am I right? <laughs> I guess he just assumes that we in the South, us actual rednecks, don't cut the eyes out of our potatoes before we eat them. What are you, a Cretan? Big assumption there, Larry. Mundane. They just taste like chips. I mean, there's no. We were talking about the flavor of a jalapeno popper. There, there's cheese and cream cheese and jalapenos with a deep fried shell. Fetty wops were way better than this. Agreed. Much more flavor. Much less black spots and, on every chip. And Fetty Wap wasn't talking a big game. He was letting the chip speak for itself, you know? I think he gave a message on the back of his as well, something to the effect About of- working hard. I put my work goals. in, yeah. yeah. Folks, here at Gas Station Garbage, um, we operate under a strict scientific scale of one to 10 Gordon Ramsay's. With that said, Nick, where are we on the Larry the Cable Guy jalapeno popper tater chips? I'm trying to think of the other chips that we've done. And, and compare it to this. I'm gonna give this three Gordon Ramsay's, and that's being generous only because the proceeds are going to charity. You know, pat yourself on the back for that, Larry the Cable Guy. But, but um, I would have just as soon given that money straight to charity. Yeah. And instead of buying these and, and eating them. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say three Gordon Ramsay's here also for that very reason. It's not a bad chip. It's it's just a, a plain potato chip, as we've mentioned before. The, the flavor, to, to boast about how bold your flavors are and to even go so far as to call your consumer a wussy because they don't like particular flavors of chips, you kind of put your stake in the ground uh, when you claim something like that. And so then to come with a chip that is literally no better than just a plain Lay's, that's lame. Come on, man. 
come on. Three Gordon Ramsay's for me, again, the main reason I'm giving it three is, again, because some of that's going to charity. So at least, there's a, at least there's a positive to come out of this very mundane, very vanilla uh, tasting potato chip. A vanilla tasting potato chip would have been nice. Would have been more would have been flavorful more than this. Than these, this jalapeno popper. Yeah. So, um, there you have it. Also, how does that even happen? <laughs> how does that even that's happen? A, that's a pineapple slice that's made its way into the fryer. There's something to be said to me about trying to pander to southern folks and, and making your character seem less educated to sell tickets. For Adam and Nick, this has been Gas Station Garbage. Please make sure to go find our little logo wherever it is in this video, probably down in a corner over here somewhere, I'm thinking, Easy. right over there. Yeah, there you see. Click that and subscribe to us. Uh, you'll get notifications about when we release a new video. Here's a hint, spoiler alert, it's every Friday. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. We're on Facebook. Follow us at uh, facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. We've always got some, some people shooting the breeze on that thing throughout the week, posting funny things and quippy little quirky it's things. A, it's a light, it's a light, uh, feel good Facebook page. Don't buy these, uh, or if you do, feel good about it because you gave a little bit of your shekels to charity. Um, and until next time, I guess we'll see you when we see you, which is Friday. Yeah, <laughs> which is going to be there. Yeah. See you guys. Later. Jesus. What? Mom found a baby rattlesnake. Oh my god. Our mom just found a baby rattlesnake. Be That's careful, crazy. mom. Anyway.